Welcome back. Today we are going to see threat management in Office 365. So let's click on dashboard and see the tiles. So the first thing is how it's asking how Office 365 or the Microsoft has protected you your your organization from threats in last seven days it's the status like it will show up here top malware what were in the out uh, and they caught trying in your emails and all that detected in email everything is zero and top malware like what were the top that they uh, caught in your organization office 365 and configure anti-malware policy and a spam policy report message add-in so uh, this one we uh, in our organization every now and then they send a intentional chunk or fish uh, uh, message so basically what they're trying to see is how many users click on it and those users basically uh, eventually are the weakest link or you know they are more prone to click on links and then allow uh, unauthorized access to the system so when I see one there's a in Outlook there's a button phishing or your phishing damper or something you click on it and then you get the message congratulations it was a uh, test blah 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 and if but there are like if the email was a valid email and you click on f it was a phishing attempt or you know something then you s then you get a pop-up which uh, is asking are you sure you want to report this so basically uh, that will send out a notification to one of the admins to check and look into that email so let's see what's in uh, that's on third management cyber attacks are constantly evolving uh, we, again new spam policy phishing policy quarantine and like what's the policy can you edit it and all that we've seen that in the past you can do so there's nothing here nothing here showing send and receive emails this is what's being sent and received so let's see what we can do with configuring and what's here anti-malware so it took us to the anti-malware policy and if you remember it is from exchange so the policy is detection response prior to your lowest it's by default so we can set one up test anti-malware policy test next so basically what it will do is detected an email attachment quarantine and can be released only by an admin and the user will get the default notification that applied to add exception oh oh I had to go all the way down I was just I was thinking I'm just done here no so we saw this so anti-malware let's see where it was so this is the email that you need to see uh, about this one it's how to filter malware in office 365 so this is when we set this up everything and we talked about it in detail so i'm not going to do that again it's exactly the same and it's in uh, office 365 now under threat management so let's go to submissions what are the submissions uh, by the way uh, for this matter it's again same anti-spam anti-malware if we go there and there should be a spam as well filtering spam so we created these videos it's just that Microsoft took it out of exchange and put it only here in, in security and compliance uh, so but exactly the same thing exactly the same steps let's go to the submission and see what's in the submission you can there are no results 
we can click on new submit so we can uh, submit an email URL attachment network message ID or file submission format so <coughs> if it's an ID we have to enter it here and then should not have been blocked should have been blocked so if it's a URL you can type in google.com and then google.com is uh, um, blocked uh, site-wide on your office 365 or should have not have been blocked like if it was it's blocked then you can enter it here and it will not be blocked so this is the submission for threat management like uh, what URLs do you deem okay in your organization <clears throat> so f uh, at our work yeah uh, YouTube is totally blocked all the email providers are blocked um, most of the web pages that are for entertainment they are blocked so that's how it managed uh, they gets managed um, that uh, yeah, they block access and then users can't do it I was in uh, at a hotel um, a motel uh, best in in New York City I was visiting I was very new in, in New York and they like downstairs in the basement they had the gym and they had two computers uh, for their guests to be used I was using it and then you know the admin he walked by and I don't know what was wrong in his head he went inside and blocked that uh, website that I was using on that was my personal website maybe you looked at it you know and um, he uh, it was basically race, racism he was he was uh, from a country that <laughs> maybe don't like us so he saw the content of my website and obviously it is he knew by that uh, language that what it is and you know so he blocked it but uh, he was not smart enough he just blocked the domain I was able to access what I was doing through HTTPS adding HTTPS when I was able to access the site using the subdomains like uh, there are two ways of subdomaining subdomaining is URL slash uh, for, for example uh, it's uh, ihamid.com slash blog that's a subdomain uh, and then there is another way you <coughs> uh, uh, you actually create blog dot uh, ihamid dot com org and point it to ihamid.com slash blog folder so <clears throat> that's how I was able to access it and I was uh, uh, you know <laughs> uh, I was very young at that time around 21 22 23 I was actually laughing in my head on this guy I was like okay good try man uh, that's the best you could do so I <laughs> he pa passed by me a couple more times and I guess he could not figure out uh, how to block me or he was happy blocking my site and yeah whatever so this is the submission thing so you can email you can address um, block emails you can block URLs and block attachment and again this is from admin portal users can do that too for, uh, they can block emails but you are blocking email in here that when a user blocks an email all the other users can receive email from that address only that user that has blocked that email address will not receive any email from that email but when you block it in here that email address gets blocked for all of your users let's see what's in review so its review is quarantine restricted user malware detected in email user reported messages like if you like i said earlier like we could we can report it too so if they were uh, the if we if uh, your organization's user report anything it will show up here uh, like in a graph and admin submission messages like admin uh, submission uh, submit is something that's get priority so let's see what's in quarantine we uh, in exchange we saw the quarantine messages email messages like uh, one of your filter got it and put it as a quarantine rather than delivering to one of your user so it's taking forever I don't know if there will be any emails 
there. So it says no data available. Maybe there is none. Uh, I am so tempted to go in exchange and see quarantine messages over there, but it's not nothing is here. So let's get back to review and see what are the restricted user. Now this is a very uh, interesting feature. Even at uh, Spectrum Charter, uh, we get call like, uh, "Hey, I received a postcard. My, uh, you have a change uh, or blocked like, my access." When I go to their account, I read the notes. Yes, security or compliance department. They did restrict uh, that user's access. And now, the while user is unhappy, we have to explain to them, sir. Uh, according to uh, our finding, your computer is infected with the malware, botware, anything. It is silently sending, receiving, send, sending emails and that is basically phishing spammy uh, spamming all that and you are not aware of that because it it is d deleting it from your send folders as well so we have detected the emails coming from your email address from your ip address from your computer so you need to go clean your computer run a full computer system scan antivirus and uh, once you clean your computer then you can go to our website and change the password and while they're not happy they have to do it because that's the only way and then they have to so it's and again we saw in the uh, outgoing uh, uh, the right there outbound spam filtering if you want to learn more you can watch this video like one of your user is detected send, sending emails that uh, are too much spam so you will say hi why, why one of your own guy would do that it's not necessary they are doing on purpose they are just uh, their computer is uh, just uh, infected like they have a laptop that they access from home that could be so user reported messages will show up here I clicked on it nothing is happening so click one more time but I think since there is nothing to show it's not going there let's go to the policy <clears throat> so these are the policies anti phishing anti spam enhanced filtering like how to filter it DKIM domain keys identified mail so this is like digital signature that gets added and they then know that it is really from you uh, lately uh, I get a call every now and then <clears throat> uh, the user says hey and this email is from you it has saying so it's from spectrum it has your logo your picture and it's asking me my social security number and all that so I have to explain it to them that no we at spectrum do not uh, uh, collect uh, your uh, social security number ever we will never ask you for your social security or any information other than your home address where the services is installed and the phone number that's on the account or a good callback number that's it other than that we never ask any other information from you It'll be a social security number or your um, driver license and all that so and uh, so th that's the poofing or phishing that they send you an email that looks official but it's not so this one is DKIM this is not, again not for general public they would not know but this is from domain to domain like servers will know better that uh, if that uh, identifier is there they will know okay this is legit anti-malware uh, so phishing is when somebody is trying to send an email that has no um, viruses botware malware anything in it and it's trying to trick that user into giving you some information in the means of filling out a form spam is you are just sending out stupid advertising just email over email with the links to click videos to see pictures to click on and watch uh, anti-malware malware is the um, it's you could say it's a virus but malware they f infect your computer much more than so with viruses you think hey okay my computer is totally uh, Una we are I am unable to use it with malware it could be anything it could be silently collecting your data 
silently using some of your processing power or all of it or most of it uh, to process something for that user for example with the Bitcoin and there they found Trojan horses and all that they were actually affecting computers uh, across the globe and using their um, processing power to mine coins for the creator of that thing and user submission and it's again well we talked that a user can click on that button and that the email gets highlighted for admin to review if that email is actually um, legit or not so let's see with the anti phishing and see if we can see a policy so we have a create button name your policy okay so I was wondering like where is the so basically you create a policy and then you apply it and once then you go and edit it as well so let's see test anti fishing policy let me quickly go and see if I have uh, created that fishing policy before mail mobile mobile outbound spam spam malware maybe I have talked about it but since I don't see it let's create this policy add a condition <clears throat> so this is like who applied if except when so if the recipient like uh, who the receiver is this one what to do with it like uh, let it go or not like next so now if the recipient is Ali then if this is applied to we can <coughs> back next to we have one applied we have so this one is we can uh, put our domain here domain is ihme.org so this gets applied to uh, our domain the whole domain applied to and create this policy now the policy is set priority is this we have the settings here we can add it if it's spoofing we can see what's in there what are the actions to be taken and again I think we saw it take it to junk mail folder quarantine uh, you can watch those videos earlier videos again apply to and this this we just did that so if I click on edit here there will be an option action like quarantine the message so this is the second one so since it's uh phishing so it's not as serious as malware so they say okay just move it to junk and if a user wants he can see he or she can see it so this is about that let's see what the part the yeah policy and it's my anti malware we talked about it enhanced filter we can go and see So it's like real advanced stuff it's saying that uh, you filter email based on the actual source of message or the connector and connector is also defined by the IP address so maybe you uh, you are getting the connection right but then you have to check the IP address as well if it is associated or not so like I said some of the stuff we we as a desktop support will not be doing it it's uh, for the system admins and so authoritative authoritative and authoritative so <coughs> so is it not signing DKIM signature for this domain so how do you do that enable so you have to enable it so you can click enable and again uh, okay so <clears throat> well if you remember this video 
when we are setting up uh, the main these two video or just this single video connecting your domain name to office 365 we had to log into the domain um, account and <clears throat> add all those c records a records and all that so to enable this one the dkim domain key and identifier we have to go and add these two i could but i don't want to at the moment uh, so this video is already 20 minutes but it's just uh, you can see this video if you want to know how to add those records it's but since i'm not going to use it and in a month it will be expired so there's no point so this is uh, all it about the threat management uh, let's wrap this video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one